Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the past, present, future project pan. This is a project that was created by Elizabeth over on Instagram. Her handle is cookie pans and I was inspired to start this project for a second year in a row by Paula at a beauty guru made me do it. And this particular project was really started last year, specifically around the new decade focusing on 10 products for the past, one product for the present, and 10 products for the future. I've mentioned how I pick my products for those categories, so I'll leave my playlist in the cards so you can go back and watch the videos if you haven't already. But I actually am a little surprised at the like number of items that are left in this project. It's not very many. And I had a surprise rollout this month. I measured an item just now and I am able to roll it out. <laughs> so excited. I will leave the surprise reaction in the extras because it happened on camera while I was doing like what's on my face, which I do at the very beginning of every video so that I know what to put in the description box. By the way, I always put in the description box what I'm wearing on my face, almost always. There may be a few days where I forget to say what's on my face, but almost always I put, I put what's on my face in the description box. Anyway, so I got that on camera. I was very surprised. Okay, let me share with you what's out of this project. And I have two items that are finished and two items where I met my goal. So the first item that is finished, this is in the, actually, let me do this one first because this is in the present category, I think. Yeah, let's do this one first. This one is in the present, no, past category. This is the Laneige Sleep Lip Sleeping Mask. I did finish this. I was really close last month. I wouldn't even say really close, but I kind of felt like I may finish this. And I did. So excited. This took me longer than I thought that it would, only because... I've kind of gotten into the habit of falling asleep on the couch this year. And it's really because for a variety of reasons, I, you know, I stay up late. I'm a night owl anyway. And then I stay up late and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Like exhausted. Like I'll be up editing a video and I'm not blaming the fact that I started a YouTube channel this year on the fact that I fall asleep on the couch because I was doing it before, but I feel like I'm doing it more this year. And I find that I'm so tired that I just like roll over and I fall asleep. And this is something that I use at night. So it kind of was one item that I just didn't put on as often as I normally would because I wasn't sleeping here as often. But I finished it in what, nine months, nine-ish months. And I think I normally would have finished this within like six months normally so anyway but I did finish it so it's done I actually have another one of these open that's by my bed and I'm working I'm kind of alternating between one of these and then like a Sarah Hap lip mask that I've had for a while so it's one of these in a vanilla scent and then the Sarah Hap one that I've had for a long time as well so anyway yeah finished it yay done okay the next item that I finished is actually in my present category and it is my Giorgio Armani concealer this is done there is nothing left in there that I can like get on my eyeballs there's not enough to do an application there's a teen there was a teeny tiny bit left on the tip of this wand but yeah it's done I took the stopper out and everything it's done I have a little pair I have a cat hair on my I try to get them to stay in here, but no. So anyway, I'm super happy to have this concealer done. I have two more that are like so close. Oh, I can taste it. But yeah, one concealer out of my collection, full size. And I think I basically started this from like brand new to finished this year. So yes, I don't know that this is a holy grail for me. It's not really. I think I prefer the Woma 
concealer to this. I'm going to have to, I have another shade of this, so I'm going to have to compare the two. So those are my two empties. Now the two that I hit my goal on, this one I was really close to hitting my goal on last month, and I, this is surprising to me, but it's the M Cosmetics, these are both in my future category, the M Cosmetics True Gloss and Ash Rose. So here, my goal was to use half of this, and I did meet that goal. So there, my line to, my halfway point is like here, and that line is where I was last month. And you can kind of see the windowing all the way down here now. So, I mean, I'm sure there's product that's sticking to the sides of this, but without taking out the stopper, and scraping everything down to the bottom. I really don't have an idea of the true halfway mark. So that's my best estimate, you know? And I am guessing that I'm somewhere here-ish. And that is, you know, it's past my the halfway point. So, you know, hopefully I can put this into a project next year to finish because I would like to get this done but yeah it's beautiful maybe I'll put some on right now because I don't think I ever did this where I topped it on top of Taurus I never got the chance and I'll probably have lipstick on my teeth during this video I don't know how much of a difference that made. Lightened it up a little bit. It's a really nice formula, really nice gloss. It is perfumed. So if you don't like that, like perfumed scent, I think it eventually does go away, but it does have a perfumed scent. And the last item I hit my goal on, the Pat McGrath pencil. I cannot tell you guys how excited I was when I noticed that I hit my goal on this because I was not expecting it. I had recently sharpened it because it was super dull and I showed this on a, in a video, like I, I talked about, I went on a pencil sharpening discussion during my turn and burn video, which that video was already an hour long. Why did I go on a like five minute discussion about pencils? I have no idea pencil sharpeners but then I had to sharpen this one was it this one that I sharpened in that video I think I sharpened this one in the turn and burn video with the Ulta pencil and then I had to sharpen it again because I've used it so much I've been using it like crazy and I think I sharpened it with my Beautifique pencil sharpener now see I, everything's kind of running together. I can't remember what I sharpened with what. Anyway, so I sharpened it recently and I just decided, I was like, oh, I need to measure it for this project. And I had hit my goal and I've surpassed it a little bit. So yay. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. And I think it's been like, I mean, I've been using this pencil like crazy, like crazy. I'm, I didn't even take a picture. But that's where I was up there the last time I measured it in, in last month. So I have gone cuckoo the last month with this pencil. Like I've been using it like crazy. And, you know, I've... anytime I do a look with Amhara, I use that pencil to line my lips because the lip color that goes with it will you know, they just go together. So anyway, that's how I was able to get through it so fast. Yay. Done. So what is left? I have three items left in this project out of 21. Okay, the first item is a lip product, of course. It is the Essence Ultra Last Instant Color Lip Stick. In mauve den, the shade mauve den. So here we go. There is no progress on this, which is very disappointing. I'm very shocked. I'm pretty sure that I've used this, but I guess not enough to make a line. 
It's a beautiful color. I mean, it would go with an eye look like this too, but I have another little product in this project that I'm also trying to finish, whereas this is a quarter use. Let me look to see how much is even left in that. No progress on it, but I'm curious how much is left. So I have about, I mean, I've used over half of what I need to, but I think I have more than a third, more than a third to go. So, I mean, it's, it's going. This is what I'm trying to focus on. These last two items are in the future category. And this is my focus because this is like, I want to work this out of my collection because I have two backups of this and I need to work this one out. Let's see, Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche Lipstick in Taurus. I'm wearing it today. I just topped it with the True Gloss. I love this color. Love, love, love. And I have made some progress on it, but I'm surprised that I didn't make as much progress. That's how much is left. And I need to finish this by the end of the year. And I have two months to do it. I don't know, guys. Like, that's a lot of lip product to use in two months. I need to do an everyday use on this. And because it's a purple lip product, it's that's very, sometimes it's challenging to do, but I need to just use it regardless. Or the days that I do a purple look, like this is what I use. But I have other purple lip products that I need to use too. But I hate using it just to use it, you know what I mean? Because I love the color. But I have two others, so I should. I'm, I'm talk, babbling to myself at this point. The last item in this project is the Clarins SOS Primer in the shade Peach. So here is where we are. This is really close to being done. Really close. When I'm pumping out product from here, I kind of have to push the product out because it's starting to sputter. So I am really close to finishing it. Now, I have pretty much exclusively been using this. And I know I used been twice in that sentence. So let's just ignore that because I've been struggling to get that sentence out. But I've been struggling with the ABH foundation and having it look good on my skin lately. So I tried something different today and I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas and it's so much better. I feel like I'm off center. But I also think it could have been in a, like using an illuminator. I don't know if that foundation does, does not jive with illuminators in general because I feel like it looks so much better by itself. So anyway, this will be done by the next update. There is so little left in here. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like there's just so little left in here. So I'll have, I'll have that done for sure. I really want to focus on getting this done. Really, really want to focus on getting this done. Now, if all I have left at the end of this project are these two lip products, it is what it is, you know? It'll be challenging. I mean, I think that I've made good progress on that on Taurus. I've used about half of Taurus so far. So, I mean, I would like, like I said, I would like to finish it, but I've used half of it and um, we'll see. We'll see how I do. I, got, I have two months to go. Okay. So that is going to be it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <gasps> I met my goal. Oh my God, I'm done. <gasps> I'm done with this lip pencil. <gasps> oh my gosh. And I surpassed my goal. Yes. Yes. Done.
Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Total surprise. Wow, wow, wow. How has this no progress? High, low. No progress? <laughs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. By, uh, by Paula at a beauty, no, not Paula, and 10 products for the pe for the future. So no product, no progress. I have been pretty much exclusively, been, I have pretty much exclusively, oh, enunciate. Bye.